Okay, I'm going to show you a video on how to make the extruder, the, uh, the, the engine, if you will, of 3D printing. So, I'm using this part right here, and this is a, a welding rod holder, and typically it is, this one's a, a 0.6 millimeter. Uh, it has a smaller inside, but I'm going to drill that, and that will be uh, where the filament will fit inside of it. and. The idea is to make that just wide enough for the filament to go through so that when the filament melts and it's in a liquid state, it won't go back up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this coupler nut and I'm going to go ahead and screw this copper piece into there. And then I want to tighten it. Now it's important, it may not go through easily uh, the, the first time you put it through. Uh, I I put this through a time or two because um, uh, I'm, I'm rebuilding this. But you want to make sure that it is all the way into the coupler. If it's not, you'll have plastic leak out around the uh, filament and the filament will make it catch fire. So just a word of caution. So anyway, you got this part right here and you have two washers that I include that are drilled on either side and in the middle. You can take whichever one you want and put it at the bottom. Then you put uh, these two uh, 5 sixteenths uh, like that. Let me go ahead and take this out temporarily. Then you use two of the tiny washers that are included. You must use washers on this. This part heat cycles and you'll have things get loose if you don't have these uh, fastener washers. Hold on. Go ahead and put that on there. And you want to tighten. want this to be really tight. It's metal, so just don't strip out the screws. Then you get this, you put this back in, and then you go ahead and uh, put the other washer in. And uh, also including a bolt so that you can stick it on the other side of the coupler. You screw it into the coupler a little bit. That helps guide the coupler so that it's straight when you screw this in. And you go ahead and you put a washer here, a washer here, and then go ahead and uh, put the other two bolts on, or excuse me, nuts. And then you make sure the washer is as flat as you can get it. And then you just proceed to uh, screw down one side a little bit and screw down the other side until it's tight. And that bolt that we put right here will help keep that coupler in there straight. You want this to be tight as well. And then when you're done, you no longer need this bolt on the end here. There you go. You have a completed extruder. And the filament will go in there and it will be guided down into this little tiny uh, uh, pocket space in this copper. Uh, and then the end piece has a really tiny hole and your filament will extrude from there. Done. And this can handle uh, it's designed to run constantly at 300C, but I was testing it at over 450C the other day, so it at least gets that hot, maybe even hotter. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll do a video with it actually uh, having, <laughs> uh, having a solder extruding from it, but I wouldn't use this as a solder. Uh, it's not designed uh, 
to push solder, but it can definitely get hot enough to uh, melt solder. Anyway, there you go. Uh, so I, I guess the reason I say that is ABS is a really high temperature plastic and it will run with ABS with no problem.